Hello everyone, have you ever wondered about the difference between let's go, shall we go, and we shall see? Well, if you have, by the end of this lesson, everything will fall into place and you will finally understand the difference between all of them, okay? Now, first things first, if you are my student from Jornada Linguística or if you are part of my uh, community on Buy Me A Coffee, you will have complete access to this lesson because I will not only talk about the difference between shall and let but also um, a whole lesson about shall okay it's very important that you are familiar with how shall is used in speaking and how shall is used in law texts and other contexts okay now I will leave the, a link in the description now, shall, something very important that I want to mention also, is that um, if you read the phonetic transcription of shall on Cambridge Dictionary, you will hear something like shall, shall. It's, it, you know, it's like shall. I don't know. I don't know how to, to make the proper Cambridge posh slash conservative RP kind of way. But this is something that I hear. And when you look for the for the way it's, it's said on you English, uh, you know you English. That's all that helps you with your listening skills. You will hear different people talking about different topics, and if you want to know the pronunciation of a word, you just uh, type in the word on the uh, on the top of the of the screen, and lots of videos will come up, and then you can hear the different accents and the different pronunciations, and. Mm, some of them they say sure, some of them say shall. So I think it's a word that is perhaps mispronounced or perhaps it's just a, a difference in accent um, depending on where, on where you are. And here in England, I've heard people saying sure many times, sure. And, you know, and if you look at the phonetic transcription, that's not exactly how it's supposed to be pronounced. But again, I think it's a difference in accents um so i'll i'll be saying shall shall with my mouth open shall okay um right first things first shall is part of the modal group and who are the modals modals are tricky to understand because they are a group of verbs in english language that they have they have their own rules and i came up with an analogy myself about Models. So models are like the Tory party ruled by Boris Johnson here in the UK. Um, they have their own rules. They can do whatever they want to do whilst the rest of the verbs or the rest of the people just carry the can. You know what carry the can means? Carry the can means pagao pat. Okay. Um, so the verbs, the normal verbs, they are like us, the pleb, the, the hoi polloi, you know, the excuse me, the ordinary people, whilst models are like the Tory government, they are at the top of the pyramid and they have their own rules, you know, you know, the pleb and the Tories. So this is how it works. If you follow me, if you have followed me for long enough, you know um, that <laughs> I really like politics, especially here in the UK. So that's why I like to come up with these weird anal analogies. Right. Who are the models? They are will, would, should, shall, can, could, may, might, must. And models refer usually to intentions, promises, predictions. You know, it's a whole umbrella of things. I need a glass of water. Just bear with me. Right. Now, let's go to the main bit of this lesson because if you are watching on YouTube you will not have access to the complete lesson but I will explain to you the lowdown. The lowdown are the main beats and uh, sorry uh, I have <laughs> I have hay fever and it's affecting my voice <laughs> and how I breathe and everything. My goodness <coughs> excuse me. So if you what if you are watching on YouTube, you will have access to the lowdown, which is the main beats and pieces of let versus let versus shall. So let's go 
what's the difference between let's go and shall we go? So let's go is more like a command. So somebody is saying, let's go, let's go. It's not like a question. It's not, it's not a question. Imagine that you, that for example, you need, you, you are going to a party and you, you see your husband uh, and your, and your daughter and they are not ready yet. And you need to give them a nudge and you say, okay, let's go. Let's go. You go have a shower. You go get dressed. So you, you know, it's more like a command. And we Brazilians, we tend to use let's go in a way as in a question like, let's go. Let's go. I used to do that all the time. And then, and then I remember Lucas correcting me. He was like, no, when you say let's go, it's just let's go. You know, if you want to, if you, you know, if you want, if you, if you were making a suggestion, then you say, shall we go? Okay. Which is the second explanation here. So it's like, shall we go? So shall we go is more polite is when you really want to go, but you see that people are not moving their asses. So you just have to say, oh yeah, uh, 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 shall we go? Shall we go? Shall we go? It's, it's more passive aggressive. Whilst let's go is just like, let's go. It's not a question. It's like, let's go, let's go, chop, chop. You see? And, and we, we Brazilians, we mix them up a lot, these two expressions. Now, Got it, got it, got it. If you haven't, drop me a message here in the comments. Now, the difference between let's see and we shall see. Let's see is used when you are literally going through something and you need to find an answer or solution. So I work for a university and sometimes I have to look for a name in the system, the, the name of a student, for example. And Imagine that my boss came up to me and said, hi, you need to find this name because I can't find this name. And I start to look through the system. I, I start to look on the system, like type in the word of the person. And I say, let's see. Or I'm looking for a document. Okay, let's see. Mm, where is it? Or trying some new shoes at the shop. You were trying them on. You want to see how you look. Uh, wearing them and you say, mm, let's see, mm, let's see. You say it, it's um, it's a way of saying, okay, vamos, né? E aí, vamos ver, mm, vamos ver isso aqui. It's, it's something that you say when you are literally doing something. You are looking for an answer. You are looking for something and you say, let's see. Now, when you're talking about an event, an event about the future, something that is unpredictable, you don't know what's going to happen, then you say, we shall see. So for example, I don't know if I will pass the driving test. Um, and, you know, we shall see. I don't know if I'll pass. We shall see. I don't know if things are going to get better in this country. We shall see. I don't know if, 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 if Brazil will be a first, world con a first world country one day. We shall see. Probably not. But we shall see. I hope so. Right? Now, that's what you say when you don't know, when you are not certain about things. We shall see. So we shall see is used when you don't know the outcome of a situation. And you just have to wait and see. And we say this a lot in Portuguese. It's, it would be our... É, vamos ver. Vamos ver. So you see the difference in context. Do you understand the difference between contexts here? So now you know how to use we shall see. So we shall see is unpredictable. It's like, mm, don't know, shall see. You know how to use let's see. So mm, let's see. You're looking for something. You're looking for an answer. And you know how to say let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. And <laughs> shall we go? Shall we go? So now you know how to use these four expressions. If you have any questions, pop them into the comments here on YouTube. And if you like my work, follow me on Buy Me A Coffee. Even if you don't want to become a member, do follow me on the blog because I'll be posting more um, in there uh, compared to, as opposed to Instagram. Um, I'm detoxing from Instagram for a while and it would be great to have you uh, following me on Buy Me A Coffee. If you want to become a member, if and you want to know more information, uh, send me a message. I'll, I'll leave my contact details here in the description. And if you want to know about, about my course, Jornada Linguística, 
you can also send me an email and I'll give you the nitty gritty of everything you need to know. I hope to see you next time and it was a pleasure. Bye.